Okay. Hopefully you can hear me over the tractor. Uh, the man's mowing the field so that uh, we can keep the rats and the snakes down away from the house. <laughs> um, and that's just something that needs to be done. And sometimes the dogs will bark. But um, anyway, uh, what I'm sewing today is um, this is oryngium, oryngium, or um, it's called sea cotton. And um, I have 25 seeds in this packet. And then I have one more packet. This is the white glitter. Um, I have some blue glitter out in the um, peony field. And uh, so I was supposed to actually do this. It says, so 10 to 16 weeks before your last cross date. Because, um, but I'm not trying to get flowers out of these this year. I'm going to um, sow them at the, in the fall and have them established before, you know, the um, frost comes for next year because it says here on the packet it takes 365 days before oh I'm sorry I shook y'all um it takes 365 days um for you to receive flowers from the time you seed it so next year in May late May early June is when I should get flowers from from these um and it says, uh, you know, do not cover the seed because light aids in germination. Bottom mortar. So I put this in one of my bottom mortar trays. I've got a 72 cell um, tray here because they're going to probably live in this all summer long. And um, then, because uh, I, don't, I don't think I'll have to pot them up. And I hope I don't. But this is the seed. It looks like um, they're very tiny, but I will see if you can see those in there. You see those little seeds? So I'm just going to drop them on the top of each little cell. And if you've never been with me before, I'm Yvonne. I have a cut flower farm here in Zone 7B, North Carolina. Um, I am thankful and grateful that you joined me today. It's going to take me a minute to get these on here because they're not the smallest seeds I've ever sown, but To, to get stuck in my nail. Oh, that's a cool breeze. That's nice. I was down in the greenhouse getting these trays filled with soil. So I probably have soil up my up every up my arms and everywhere. Um, and then, uh, you know, to prepare the trays, you have to do, you know fill the trays, um, then I wet it down, I wet the soil down with um, water to um, get it nice and wet because it was very dry and if you do not wet it, if you do not pre-wet it before you do this because these seeds are just going to lay on top of the soil, you're not going to bury them at all. The soil will never get wet. Not wet enough to germinate your seeds. So um, I just have some regular potting mix. And I wet it from the bottom and the top. I've got water in the bottom of this tray. 
and I wet it from the top. Hope you're all having a nice Memorial Day weekend. I am thankful to all the veterans out there who you know, lost their lives defending our country. One seed left in there. I'm glad I looked. And I'm just making sure that they're in contact with the soil so that their roots, when they germinate, will go down into the soil. You might have to check on seeds that do that that you have to lay on top of the soil occasionally to make sure that the roots are going into the soil because they will um if they're not in contact instead of going down they'll come up so you just redirect them i had some just a few minutes ago i had to take a little toothpick and, and put the um, root back down into the soil. Okay. And if I get a chance later on today, I had a viewer who wanted me to wanted me to show them how to soil block. So if I have a chance, I'm going to do that video later on um, because I do need to um, do some soil blocking. Have some more seeds to. Well, my husband, the poor man, he, he thought that seed starting was over and I just kind of gave him a look and I said, um, we'll be seed starting like the whole year up until they're only like a few weeks before our last frost and he just kind of gave me a look like oh and I'm like yeah seed starting just started so talking last night we're going to expand our peony field uh, because I want more peonies and so we were talking where to put that um, how to best uh, get the grass out of the field you know prepping the field before the peonies get here of course they won't be delivered if I order them now until October. Um, I have some out there now. I have, I counted them. I have 116. Um, and I got a couple of flowers off of them this year. Just enough to you know, off of each one to show me exactly what I bought to make sure that what I did buy is what I bought. Um, and I have a mentor, his name is Dave Dowling. I took his class. Um, and um, he, you know, he says that, um, you know, you, got, you need to wait at least two winters before you can actually start to um, harvest the stems from your um, peonies and, and you know and on that first harvest you need 
in all harvests really you need to make sure to leave as many leaves on the plant and stem on the plant as possible um, for it to regenerate for the next year and because uh, peonies are perennial and they come back every year and um, you know I plan th that they'll be there for the rest of my life uh, and probably for some of my grandchildren's and maybe even their grandchildren who knows or children and um, but uh, but he says to wait two winters he said some people you know say to wait three to four years before you harvest them but he says and I like his analogy on it he says you could be dead in three or four years go ahead and harvest them you know the, the after the second winter um, so next spring all of my 116 peonies will be in the ground for two winters um, so I, I love his analogy on that because he, he's right you know um, who's got time to wait that long and um, I was so hoping you know that I would get um, some some peony uh, stems this year but um, the first ones I got I plant I planted last spring and then I planted the second set in October so that means that both sets have only gone through one winter but they're on the same track so next year um, you know will be their their time hopefully so I have my garden marker because ink pen does not work permanent marker does not work. I've tried them all. Um, and my other mentor, um, Lisa Mason Ziegler, um, introduced me to the garden marker. And um, I've got to label this because if I do not label it now, I will not remember what it is. And I have done that. And then I have to try to figure out, okay, what is that? And I put the date on it too because um, I don't know. I've got a few spaces left. And um, if I find something that I can kind of Put in those few spaces. I will do that. Um, even if it's something that can come out, you know, before these do, and that's fine. Um, let's see. I have a lot of things that I want to do. Da, 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 da. Okay, so next I'm going to um, slide this aside. And if you're starting seeds today or planting something in your yard, because it's a beautiful day out here, and the, the rain we got here in North Carolina was so much needed. My um, cut flower garden needed it so very bad. Um, I mean, I was like praying for rain because it just was so dry and my flowers were looking so pitiful. I thought I'm not gonna have anything this year. And um, that's one of the things we're going to do today. Um, we're going to see uh, a man <laughs> about um, a drip system. And um, so we're going to um, put in a drip system in the flower field because um, last year, um, 
and eventually we'll have to dig a, a new a well up at the cut flower field but um, for now we're going to put in a drip system because it'll save water um, last year I ran the well dry it was by accident but I, I ran the well dry I was um, we were watering like um, late in the afternoons you know um, with a sprinkler system and um, we would run it anywhere between 30 you know minutes to an hour depending on what we were watering and how much you know moisture was already in the ground but one night it was you know it was really dry and I thought I'm gonna leave it on for an hour well I went out to the well and it had gotten dark I thought I was turning the spigot off and instead I turned it wide open. And so it ran until it ran the well dry. And we got up the next morning <laughs> and my husband, the man, he went to the bathroom, turned on the water and he was like, we have no water. And he said, did you leave the water on last night? I said, no, I turned it off. No, I turned the water off. <laughs> it was on wide open. So, anyway. I might have to put little arrows on it. Off, on, off, on. And I might have to do it with glue in the dark tape so I can see. But that's just that's just how I roll sometimes because my brain sometimes gets a little confused. Anyway. So we're going to do that. Um, he just told me that we were going to go, we had to go to Lowe's to get, some, he's got to get some things, so I'm like, what do I need? I need, blah, 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 thanks, so, <laughs> can't miss that trip because I need, um, some compost, and, um, I've got a couple of other things I, I wanted to pick up. I didn't think I had this many sunflower seeds left. Um, in that packet. And what was that I pulled out? I still have a few in there. White knife. And these, uh, in this packet, um, they are not germinating really well. So I'm going to put, I'm just going to mix them all up. And I'm going to put them, because um, I, I did... Um, three 128-foot trays um, last week, and they're still not all up, and um, so that that's not something I can do, you know, because I, I have people who want to purchase these, and um, you can't have, you know, half-germinated trays. And I think it was because, again, my fault. I left the, I had um, sown my first set of sunflower seeds and I took them, um, I put them in a Ziploc bag and I took them to my grow room and I just left them in there. Well, it gets 86 degrees in there because I had a thermometer in there and it probably cooked some of my seeds. So, here I am with half germinated, because the first germination I did, the first uh, three, maybe I only done one, um, the first 128 cell tray I did, um, they all came up. But every succession that I've tried to do, it's been spotty germination, so I'm just, um, I'm 
I don't want to throw the seeds away because there are some coming up, you know. So whatever I can get out of them, I'll, I'll, I'll do. I'll take them. But I'm going to, like, sow them all. And I'm going to start the new seed packets that I have that I did not keep in the grow room, thank God. And, um, a good way they say to store your seeds is in the refrigerator. I have a lot of these seeds. So I'm just going to mix them up and put two seeds to every cell. try and do this quickly because I know you probably don't want to sit here and watch me just put seeds in a cell tray for too very long. So tell me in the comments below um, how many of you are um, you know, wanting to get out, wanting to plant something, if it's nothing but a pot, you know. Um, On your porch. Uh -huh. They want to see. Um, are any of you growing a garden this year? Do you have at least a tomato plant? Anything? Do you try, are you growing any flowers? What type of flowers do you like? on Facebook, you know, um, hit like and share if you like to share this with somebody you know who might like some information or um, make a comment um, if you're watching on YouTube, um, you know, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button, <laughs> button, button, um, did everybody get to and um, share it there also? I think everybody got to. It looks like it. So that means I'm going to have to go back down because I thought I really had um, hardly any seeds. There's two packs I hardly have any seeds in, and one is pretty well, almost half full, so, but, um, so I just take my finger and push the seeds down. make sure that none of the seeds floated to the top because I have had that happen. Because I do not pre-wet this. Uh -oh. This um, tray is a little older, so some of my <laughs> um, little cells have broken apart from it. But 
like I was using it because, you know, got to use what you got so you can't use it anymore. This is probably going to be the last time I get to use this. But um, one of the things I'm going, when, I, when we go, I'm looking for over there is um, at the Lowe's. And I have some planted out front on my sidewalk because, um, oh, I just went to Jesus. Um, is lemon coral sedum. I have some on next to my sidewalk and I picked up two more um that's a little hard piece of soil in there. Picked up two more last week. Alright so all I'm gonna do now is I'll water that in and we're done with that. Okay, so that is, I'm gonna put that on top of there. Now, I'm gonna show you something um, because I had some poor germination and then I'll get off of here with um, Sweet Annie. Uh, Sweet Annie is a um, a greenery that you can use in floral bouquets, and so and it has a nice sweet scent. And um, I was getting poor germination with it, and so I, I said to my husband, you know, this is just my second year flower farming, so I've made a lot of mistakes. I've learned from a lot of mistakes. I'm I still make mistakes. Um, I, I, uh, but I keep trying because I know that I will get it. So um, let me show you. Twice, I, I planted Sweet Annie twice, got poor germination both times, so I, I got mad. <laughs> and that's, that's usually what happens. This is a 200 plug tray and um, Sweet Annie seeds look like white pepper flakes. I mean that's really how tiny they are and they tell you to cover slightly which means do not really cover um, very much at all. Okay so what I did was and I don't have one plant per sale here. There are, there is uh, one in, in a couple of them. This is millet, and it's slowly germinating. I got a few that are slowly coming up, but all of this is sweet in. And what I did was, I took my toothpick. Can you see that? Can you see those? Let me bring them up here to you. Look at all of those babies. So I took my toothpick, I wet it on the end. I stuck it in the seeds. I didn't care how many seeds I had on it because like I said, I was kind of mad about the fact that they were not germinating like I wanted them to. And I just lightly tapped the soil just enough to get the seeds off of the toothpick so they were barely under any soil and look at the germination now I'm probably gonna have to come out I, I'm not a I'm not a potter upper I, I don't like to have to do work twice but I'm gonna have to do something of course with with these but they germinated and so I think maybe that's the secret to that. And I'll show you 
continue this tray. I've got too much water in here. But I brought them out to water them, to bottom water them. This is Ajaratum. Now, I had some out in the field and it looks they look really leggy, so I've, I've restarted them. And I've had 100% germination. There is 100 in here. I should have started 200. Um, and then these over here that are just still germinating is uh, Celosia. And um, it is lemon lime Celosia. And they're, they're slowly coming up. I have some larger than others. There's one that needs to get into the soil. So I'll just stick him in with, with my nail. So some are still coming up. Um, and we'll see, whoop, there's another one. So that's that tray. is Gomfrina on this side and on this side is Campanula and I'm, I'm just hoping I might get some um, some flowers off of those this um, by the end of the summer maybe so that's that tray they have the companion would takes longer to germinate. And these are asters. I gotta pour the water out of these. They're swimming. Um and I don't have as good of germination as I did in the soil blocks. I had great germination with the asters in the soil blocks. So I may plant more asters in the soil blocks. And, um, but we'll just have to see, because, you know, I give everything enough chance to see what's going to happen. Um, but, anyway, so that's all of my trays for today i'm going to continue to um, i'm going to continue to uh, plant my uh, sunflowers i have um, three trays i've set up here for the sunflowers um, i have pro cut orange pro cut white night Pro cut white light and um, I'm going to do another tray of the older seeds and I'm going to put these three trays are going to be the new seeds that I have and um, I'm probably going to be doing more thank you that was so beautiful where are you um, lamb light uh, spray millet I'm going to do some more of that and I um, sewed in uh, a tray just like this 72 plug tray I sewed um, mahogany splendor this morning so all right I uh, thank you so much for coming by the dry dock flower farm and I do hope that you'll come back and see us again um, and like I said like subscribe share you know and I do hope that you'll come back and see us again I hope you have a great Memorial weekend. Stay safe and happy. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.